Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy. On we go. Well, hello there. Whatever brought you here... Whatever brought you, I'm so glad you're here. My friends will never admit to it, but we could really use a hand. The ancient region of Oldham has been exposed. Treasures beyond our wildest dreams, free for the taking. We just need an escort, what with the bandits and all. You'll accompany us, won't you? You're welcome to all the loot that you can haul off. See you around. Uh, yeah, by all means, I'm quite happy to do that. So let's mount up on Lady Humps. Go on, Lady Humps. No, 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 silly human. I, we're both human. No one rides late. No one rides the lady. <laughs> okay, it would appear that... Uh, but well, what am I supposed to do? Apparently, they're all... I'm just going to jump up on them. Oh, there's a couple more back here that I uh, I didn't even realize were here. There we go. We, we jump up. I just... Did you see how close I Ahoy! came to getting crushed by those wheels? That was... That was pretty close. Hi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've met before. And here it is. The mighty Oldham. This is what we have been waiting for. This is... My absolute favourite zone in this game now. Look at it. It's the ancient Egypt um, architecture and everything for, that's all the way through. This is 100% ancient Egypt all the way through here. You get a little bit of that with the bugs down in Silithus. Um, with the scarab beetles and things like that. But this this is really the, the, um, the ancient Egypt stuff here. Right, it, it goes all the way through. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. I really, truly love it. Look! <laughs> I love these guys. They're riding hyenas as well. Creatures of the desert. This is the little pygmies. Nasty little critters these are. There goes our camel. Run off into the distance. And she does all of our camels. How many coconuts we get for the ugly one? Uh, I don't know. Which is the ugly one? Who are you calling the ugly one? I think he's referring to me. He probably is. And here we go. We'll s oh, that's it. We're captured. And we have ancient Egyptian gods that we are going up against. And the... the Literally, it's, it's Egypt. We're in the look at the, the dog up here. Look, the, see the, the dog statue up there. This is ancient Egypt. This is what we've got. It's absolutely. I love this zone. I really do. I, I, I mean, I really like the history of ancient Egypt anyway. Um, I don't know anyone near enough about the history of ancient Egypt. I should know considerably more, but. Objective complete. Caravan escorted. Yeah, we've escorted it straight into an ambush. Right. Adara is right there. She's obviously waiting for us to say something. <laughs> I love that he's got a little... Look, look at this. Look at this. Look. Hang on. Ew! Fish heads! I don't want fish heads. I can't moot. Seriously? Seriously? I'm not going to judge. We're captured in caves. I will pass no judgments. I just hope you had a bit of privacy while it happened. That's all I'm saying. He's got a teddy bear over there. Look at that. Look. Look at the teddy he's got. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love that. Uh, what else have we got over here? Uh, this. We've just got a little jar over there. Right, Adara. Hey there. Smells like someone else was in this cell recently. Gross. Are you sure it was someone else? Oh, there's another lot over there. Not sure if that was me or if that was her. Did we, like, we, I reckon maybe we just put our backs to each other as, and, and then we both went. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Right. Complete See quest. See you later. She in out already. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Nice. Done. That was my last pick. 
Uh, here comes the guard. Grandon, take him out. Why has the guard left me with my weapons? Honestly, I'm, I, I'm not entirely sure why they would leave me with my shield and, and weapons and everything else. It, it, it doesn't entirely make sense. You know, it would be good if I put my old AoE down on the floor for this. Never set Jailer. There we go. Ryder has come online. Hello, Ryder. How are you doing? I'll say hello to you in a minute. Well done. I was about to jump in, but it looked like you had things under control. The cat creature chained back there looks like he wants to talk. Maybe he can help us, but be careful. Which cat creature? Uh, cat cre Oh, the one chained right behind us. I'm just going to say hello to Ryder. He's a brand new addition to the guild. He's quite well known on the Discord server. So if you want to know more about the Discord server, there's a link in the description down below. Um, and you'll be able to find it from that. So go to, into the description down below to find out more about the Discord. Um, but Ryder is someone that we know from the Discord. And he's now decided to come and join us in the guild. It's fantastic. Right, I said hello to Ryder. I call him Eugene. And you need to tell me in the comments section if you know why I would call someone called Ryder Eugene. And if you don't get it, I'm going to be very disappointed with you. All of you. Every single one of you. Why would you call someone who's called Ryder, why would you refer to him as Eugene? Can't understand it. Please, stranger, you must help me. I came here to investigate the arrival of a powerful ally to the Neverset, only to be betrayed by my closest allies and given up to the enemy. Go to the terrace above us, to the east, and find the information I failed to uncover. You'll need to hide from the Neverset. Perhaps you can hide behind one of the large plants on the platform to conceal your presence. Do this for me, and I will help your friends find their way to safety. Right, we've got to go up there. Up there, look. Siamat. Lord of the South Wind. We've even got the Dijin. Uh, the, the, the Jin? Jin up here. Dijin or Jin. Uh, genies, whatever you want to call them. They are here. We've also got dung beetles over there. I have dung beetles. I have two dung beetles in my collection. We've got emerald boas, leopard scorpids, crawling claws, horned lizards, mac frogs, oasis moths, tolvir scarabs, and dung beetles that we want to capture. Shit, so we do want to capture dung beetles. There's lots of stuff that we want to get. Right, I need to go up here, and it's advising me to hide behind one of these plants. So if we get off of there, and we hide behind the plant. There is a lot of cutscenes in here, and it's brilliant. You're the last of your tribe with any sense left. As a reward for giving us Prince Nadun, I grant you the gift that is your birthright and more. What is he doing to them? Your makers failed you. Your flawed race succumbed. I can't... Oh, oh dear. I didn't read it properly. They've gotten a lot darker. Uh, your flawed race succumbed to the curse of flesh. Lord Deathwing's gift makes you perfect again. Uh, right, so... It's more, more of them going on with the whole curse of flesh malarkey. We've dealt with the curse of flesh malarkey previously. And it now looks like we're going to have to deal with it again. So let's go over to you, Prince Nadoom. Uh, Nadoon. A jinn! We must escape as soon as possible. This unholy alliance of the never set with the minions of Deathwing does not bode well for us. I am Prince Nadun of Ramkehen. The never set tribe has turned against the other of Tolvir. Help me escape so that I may lobby my brother the king to wage war against these traitors. I'm not sure what knuckle-headed plan your friend is concocting, but we're going to need a distraction if we're to stand a chance of escaping. Take the torch from that brazier over and go and start some fires. Perhaps if we divert the Neferset scum's attention away for a few minutes, we'll have the opportunity we need. Kavem was cruel enough before the Neferset signed up with the Deathwing, and his pleasures in deriving pain now borders on the insane. It is he who holds the keys to our shackles. He dwells in a building next to us to my right. Find him and take the key from him. Do not hesitate or show him mercy. He will slit your throat and think nothing of it. He honestly doesn't sound like a very nice person. I'm wondering if maybe his mother didn't love him enough. It's very likely. 
Uh, but what can I do for you? I have an idea. Trust me, it's a good one this time. Get some of those shiny armor pieces the cat people wear. This plan cannot fail. Trust me. See you later. I'm not sure I trust you at all, bud. Um, bud, 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 bud. What did bud do last time that got us into trouble? I'm sure bud did something that got us into a load of trouble. Oh, horned lizards there. I don't actually have any horned lizards. Tempted to go and capture one, but we've only just gone and captured another pet. So we'll leave that a bit. We'll capture pets later. Uh, so we want to come over here. I need these Nefeset sentinels and denizens and so on. Slavery does not suit you. Maybe death will. You're going to wish you'd never set foot in Oldham. Uh, no, actually, you're going to wish that I'd never set foot in Oldham. There's a, there's a new order now. My order. I will be king. I will rule this place. Uh, okay, I, 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 th I think the influence of, of Deathwing and his minions is, is starting to get to me. It's starting to affect the way I behave. Never set armor. So we needed a bit of that. It's quite handy. Uh, we also... Piles of hay. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for piles of hay. We got any more back this way? No, I don't. We want to keep... Ah, there's another pile of hay right there. We want to keep looking for the piles of hay, and we also want to find... The, the, the guy in the house. I'm not sure which house it was, though. It was definitely something about a guy in a house. We've got... Oh, there's armor just lying around over here. Look at this. That's very careless. Just leaving it unsupervised like that. Very, very convenient for us, admittedly. So we'll have ourselves a little bit of that. And I've got a Nefeset Denison over there. I've got a Nefeset Sentinel over there. I've got a Nefeset Sentinel there. Is there any... I don't see any piles of hay. I'm not seeing very much in the way of piles of hay. I, I'm, I'm going to persuade him to come and join us. And... That guy there... And that guy there. And then I'm going to do this. And they come in front. Oh, Jenkins. Ha, 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 ha. Here we go. Do that. And then heal up. And then I'll do that. And I'm going to use that one there. I'm, I'm pumping up all of my cooldowns just to start off with. And then we're going to start really throwing our weight around here like this. Um, and pop those through. There he's out. i got one there in front of me. I'm just going to go over this side a minute. I'm going to take out another one. And throw the shield around. I took three of them out in one single move right there. And then I'm just going to cast my judgment upon him. And it is done. It is done. Sliced raw brillfish. Right. They're all finished with. And... Right. Now I Grundorn did my way through it. Silken treasure chest. We get in here. Ooh. So it's the bow. We're not a hunter, so the bow is no good to us. But I tell you what, let's just, just have a look at it. That bow is bind on equip. Now this is for hunters. There is a hunter's bow. Let me see what level is other people. Fire Foxy. She's is she a hunter? Roster. Uh, Fire Foxy is a level 78 hunter. Right there. Level 78. This one requires level 85. Right. We drop that one into the guild bank. We will do that in a minute. So let me go to general and mobile banking. Pop that one open. Uh, no, I need it, but still 10 minute cooldown. Regret taking the... the Hearthstones are good. Always use the hearthstone when you can. Uh, so there's the raven heart longbow. I'm going to put that one down there because that is a particularly good one. Uh, ooh. Okay, those are very particularly good. Uh, what else have we got? So, the Soul Blade over here. I can't really use this one because I don't have the appearance either. But, no, we are, we are hammers. So, unfortunately, we're going to take that one and we'll put that one into the guild bank because we're hammers only. Uh, so, I'm going to put that one up there. And... That's stuff that's all for me when I reach level 85 and level 90. So we will leave the rest of it. I can't check the mail at the moment. Okay. We need to go back to doing what we were doing. So that that was a, re that was a really nice find, that was. There's, uh, you get those every now and then. You will find something really awesome and it will just drop. Um, 
I mean, that would be actually worth a reasonable bit on the auction house as well. So whether or not you have a guild that you belong to and you, you dish it out to a guild like we are at the moment or you do something else with it, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's You do get these really awesome things and... Like, I mean, yeah, I probably, if um, under other circumstances, I would have sold that on the auction house. I don't know how much it'd be worth. At a guess, I could say that that could be worth as much as a thousand gold on the auction house. It may be worth even more than that. You never know. Some of these things are special now, especially now we're sort of level 80 plus. Um, they do start to get quite a bit of value. So there's our hay that is burnt. And that's the house we need to go to over that side. So we'll go up over here and... Oh, he's in here. He's right inside here. There we go. Cavern the Callus. Oh, Kavem the Callus. Kavem the Callus. He is going to be taken out. I'm going to try and um, knock him with that one. There. There. See? That stunned him. Sometimes the stun will work on a boss-type creature... Because um, he's not technically like a full boss type creature. He's more of a, um, a mini boss because he's a, a, a quest, quest target rather than an actual boss. Um, it's a little bit different. So you're able to stun them. And then the, the, the actual full blown bosses, you're not able to stun those. So bring this guy out over here. But... Hey there. Did you get the pieces, Grundon? Excellent! You'll see, this can't possibly go wrong. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. Have a good one. As soon as somebody tells me it can't possibly go wrong, I do start to get a bit concerned. Yes, I hear the Neverset calling each other to the east. This might yet work. You're back. Do you have the key? I do indeed. Excellent, Grondorn. We'll make our way out of here soon enough. Everything is ready. Undo my chains and set your friends free. We must move quickly before the Neverset scum realize we're up to something. If we make it, see my brother, King Ferris, for a reward. Okay, we have to go and see the king, the pharaoh. Free at last. Your reward will be substantial, friends. This is the most moronic, half assed ridiculous plan you've ever come up with, bud. She doesn't seem too keen on this idea. What are we doing? But I suppose it's the only plan we've got. <laughs> what am I grabbing again? <laughs> Your approach is unorthodox. Although I suppose with the, the, the smoke from the fires, all they're going to see is your silhouettes. Look at me! I'm a manator! Shut your stupid face, bud. Just shut... <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, that is fantastic! Look at it! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Oh, this is so brilliantly cool. I love it. <laughs> Look at them hanging on to each other. That's me as well. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Golden Lotus. Oh, yeah, I remember Golden Lotus. That is not good. I remember the Golden Lotus. Um, I'll find out if Sen is going to be online later. I think she may have some. Here is the new zone, the new area, and you can see up there we've got the great big Egyptian style statues, pyramids, try like look at this. It's absolutely wonderful. This is 100%. 100 complete percentage to uh, ancient Egypt. It's it's absolutely wonderful right down to the pharaoh sitting on his throne, King Pharis. Look at it! The snakes around the braziers, the, the, the birds up there, the great big blue and gold statues, sarcophagi. Oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It really is. Even the lions, everything. It's beautiful. It is true then. An outsider rescued Prince Nadun from the Nefeset. We are truly in your death, stranger. So we can choose 200 gold, your cut of the reward for freeing Prince Nadun, or we can get the Ramkehen Badge of Valor. Binds when picked up. Turn down the monetary reward and increase your Ramkehen reputation by a thousand. Well, I'm personally going for the royal reward because I've already got uh, my reputation all the way up on Ramkehen with Frithgar. 
So I've already got the mount that you can get, some camel mounts, and we're actually going to be getting those. Uh, now that you've been suitably rewarded, I hope I can speak with you frankly. You've done my kingdom a great favor, but you've also unbalanced a fragile peace process. I was pursuing my brother's release strictly through diplomatic means in order to avoid bloodshed. Now the enemy is sure to seek retaliation. Speak to Nomark Tenith at the Taret Grounds to the east. Sun Priest Asaris at the Seal of the Sun King to the north, and Desak at Marat to the west. Find out where the enemy will strike. Okay, no pressure or anything, but it turns out we may have made a slight mistake with some of what we've done. Um, but well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look in our collection over here, and we're going to go to Mounts over here, and we're going to go to Cameo. We've got the grey riding camel there. Dormus the camel hoarder in Feralus. He drops this one right here. Very occasionally in Oldham you can find a small gold statue glinting in the sand. You go and click on the statue and there's a small chance that it, clicking on it will teleport you to a different location. There you defeat a boss that spawns and he guarantees you uh, Dormus the camel hoarder. And he will drop the grey riding camel. It's very difficult to get that one. Right? It does take a long time. White Riding Camel, Landro Longshot in Booty Bay. Fenimore quickly is credited with milking the first camel and breaking the record for the longest unintentional flight, all in the same afternoon. <laughs> Landro Longshot in Booty Bay. Okay. I might actually be able to get that one. I'm going to have to look into the White Riding Camel. That might be something that I can personally get. But it's the brown riding camel and the tan riding camel. Ramkahen Exalted over here from Blacksmith Abbasi. These are the ones that we can get. So I'm going to pull one of those over here. Colfis Gronling, Steelbound Devourer, Green Shadow Pan. Um, the Turbocharged Flying Machine. No, we're not going to use the Turbocharged Flying Machine. The problem with this one now is that we use flying mounts. So we're not really going to be doing very much with a camel. So I'm going to have a little bit of a ride around. Look, we've even got the, these right here. Sundials. There's sundials. This looks so cool. I love this zone. I've done this zone several times, by the way. I never get tired of this zone. It's one of those that I can do over and over and over without getting bored of. Let's just run over this side a minute and we will get the flight point, which is just up there. And it's a neutral flight point. So you've got both... Um, Horde side and Alliance side. So we now got our flight point. We should also have an innkeeper in here. So we can set our stone inside here. There is the innkeeper right there. Kazemd. Make this in your home. Accept. There, I've now made that my home. And then the quartermaster is around here somewhere. I do have some mail. There's some mail there from Kroll. So somewhere around here, we've got a quartermaster. I can't remember where he is. He's definitely around here. So open unless he, is he up on the platform? Is that him there? Uh, that's reagents on that side. He's here somewhere. I can't, I can't quite remember where he is. Uh, that is blacksmith at Abbasi. There he is. So yeah, you go and speak to this guy right here, and you've got the you got the tabard of Ramkahen right there. You champion the cause of Ramkahen. All reputation gains while in level 85 Cataclysm Dungeons will be applied to your standing with them. So I haven't got that one, but I've already got Exalted on Frithgar. So I've got the reins of the brown camel and reins of the tan camel. Those are already used. And then you've got some other items here that you can get as well, like the Sun King's Girdle. Um, plate belt there. We've got you know, various other little bits and pieces that you can use. Uh, none of which that we need to particularly worry about right now. So what we are going to do is we have to speak to Nomark Tenneth, we have to speak to Sun Priest Asaris, and we have to speak to Asuk. And we zoom in a bit. You can see we've got a lot of pets that we actually need to gather. So I think what we might do, just to like ease things up a little bit, is despite the fact that we've got those other ones sort of kicking around... And we do have these quests that we need to go and do. We've got crocolisks and all sorts around here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go after some of these other things here. Some of these pets that we don't yet have. Uh, so that is an oasis moth right there. Uh, before I go dashing off into combat, let's go to these and 
Revive our pet so that we're at 100% just in case because I don't remember what the levels are of these pets. Level 24. So we have got a Sidewinder right there which is an upgrade to one that we've already got. And then we've got a grey quality one right there. Uh, but we've already got a green one. So nope. We're going to pass on these. Forfeit. Okay. Very well pets. You are gone. So that Oasis Moth. There's no good to us at all. On to the next one. Emerald Boa. I don't have an Emerald Boa. So I'm going to come over to here and... To try and do noble combat with them. And again, look, we've got another Emerald Boa there. But they're all three of them. Those are greys. I'm not going to be gathering greys, right? We will keep trying to do these. But I will only capture green or blue quality. And these pets are all so common that i got no problems with doing that either. Uh, it's only the uncommon pets that I won't actually go and kill when they're greys. Uh, now, where is it that we want to go? Uh, right there, you can see we've got that one right there. It's one of the first ones. Look around and see if there, are there any other... There are a couple other pets. We've got an emerald boa over there and... All right, well, let's go with that one first. Are you any... Nope, you're greys as well. See, right there, we've got a dung beetle that we want to get. We've got one dung beetle already, but it's a grey quality. And then the emerald boa we don't have. Wolf it. Nope, not taking it. Also, as you kill them, they get replaced very quickly with, a better, with other ones. So you then have a chance of generating a better quality one. Are you over there, you're a Tolvia Scarab. I don't have a Tolvia Scarab either, so we'll, we'll go with that. Closer. Tolvia Scarab. Eh, green quality. Okay, so we've got a Tolvia Scarab right there that we can capture. And I got weak damage against these. But that's all right. We, we just want to capture the Tolvia Scarab. We'll go for the Tolvia Scarab first. Uh, these have this one here, this Apocalypse, which is like a really bad thing to get. Uh, that one deals 216, reduces the target speed by 25%. It's this one here, calls down a meteor, which falls 15 rounds from now, instantly killing all active pets. Cockroaches and beetles always survive this attack. Um, so, yeah, the cockroach and the beetle will survive. So if you've got, like, a, a critter um, army built up, then, yeah, it, it, it takes a long. 15 rounds we're now waiting for that one. So if you've got 15 rounds, if you think that you can drag it out for a while, and there are certain abilities that do drag this sort of stuff out by quite a long way, uh, this Apocalypse one is actually really good. A lot of the time, though, I don't think it's that great a move because it's... Gen well, it depends what sort of combat you're doing. Um, I think very often you can find that... Let's switch pet a minute. Uh, you, you can find that doing... Um, PvP, doing it against other people, that the, the route that they can last a lot longer. And there's also some like difficult pets to capture, difficult ones to go for. They also um, the, the battles can last quite a long time, so being able to use the apocalypse move is actually quite good against them, and it does really help you out. Right, there's that one down. I want to get another one of these turrets built as rapidly as he's got another apocalypse right there. So I don't know if he's going to try and put that one going as well. What's he just done? Unkillable for one round. Right, well, that's that's fine. We, do, we don't care about unkillable for one round. Now what's he doing? What was that he just did? Scratch. Oh, no, he's he's reset the counter on the apocalypse. <laughs> and then we throw that one down, and he's dead. That's it. Game over. Fantastic, we've now got another pet. So we've got the Tolvia Scarab, which is now being added. And that is the same, that artwork there is actually the same as the Scarab casings that drop in the uh, Anchorage dungeon in, in the big raid. Um, right, so I want to go Tolvia Scarab right there. And first up, we want to summon him. And then we want to rename him. And this one is Tom the Yank. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoy it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.